Hello everyone, it's Shadow Creek Stables here, and I'm back with another uh, voiceover speed paint. So for this one, I'm starting a new series. Um, it's where I will redesign certain characters from certain things, um, and I would do it how I would have done it. So. It's mostly going to be the female characters, uh, since I was like, oh, I'm going to redesign all the Disney princesses. And then it turned into, I'm going to redesign all the female uh, female Disney characters I can think of. And now it's going to turn into, I'm going to redesign all the female characters that I can think of. Uh, so. But, uh, we're starting off with the Disney princesses, so the rest of the series doesn't matter right now. Uh, I started with Snow White, the first ever Disney princess. Um, her whole thing, um, she's, uh, she has hair as black as ebony, lips as red as blood, and skin as white as snow. And for me, that says vampire. Um, don't get me wrong, she's gorgeous. I just, I just went the whole vampire route when drawing her. I also figured out that she, her tale originated from Germany in the 16th century, I think. No, it was the 18th century. I don't know. Anyways, her clothes are bent, uh, based off of that, and then I grew her hair out, because I'm pretty sure nobody had that haircut, um, in Germany at that point in time. Um, I used a lot of whites and golds instead of the blue, yellow, and red that she had going on. Like, the primary color scheme was not complementing her complexion at all. Although I did really like her uh, brown, amberish eyes. Those were really pretty. I gave her, like, this lighter yellow underskirt kind of thing. And really, she looks kind of the same, just in a different outfit and with longer hair. Um... I decided to use more shape language when redesigning all these characters, so in the concept art, what I used for my original sketch, she was made up out of circles. Um, so that's why she's so round. Uh, next we're going to move on to Cinderella. <laughs> Cinderella will not end up looking like the Cinderella we all know and love. Uh, not at all. Um, Cinderella is a French tale from the 16th century, and uh, that means it's around the same time as the French Revolution. So, uh, but she does, I gave her more of a, like, that time period hairstyle rather than her weird, like, bun type thing situation. She doesn't have a headband, she does have, like, a little clip, though. And I gave her a lot of jewelry. In the reference pictures that are shown um, on screen, there's just so much jewelry. So here you can see me adding more jewelry to her outfit. I also gave her like this giant collar because I saw that and it was pretty common in a lot of the pictures I saw. So I was like, yeah, why the heck not? I, did, I took a lot of inspiration from the girl in the salmon pink dress in the um, uh, reference picture that keeps flashing up on screen. Um, uh, at this point, I felt like something was missing, but I didn't know what yet, so I just went on to coloring. I darkened up her hair a bit, and I darkened up her skin a little bit, and, um, I just started coloring. So I colored her sleeves, her cuffs white, and her collar white, and then I color picked from her dress, and I made it the same powder blue. I gave her a lot of gold as well. And that, and at this point, this is where I figured out what was missing. And so I gave her like the weird stripey thing that the girl with the salmon colored dress had. Um, so it's it's still gonna be the same powder blue, and then the inside is a white, and then the little stripies became gold. Um, the, a lot of her jewelry is gold. And then I gave her some, like, blue accents. And then I kept her eye color the same as uh, Snow White. Um, and I gave her some makeup, because you're not French royalty if you're not wearing makeup. And then I was done. And then I just took a couple, you know, pictures and whatever. 
And so this is the first episode coming to an end. I hope you guys will enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. Bye!